Pakistan needed 64 runs with 4 wickets in hand to level the series against England with Saul Shaquille batting on 94. At this moment, Shaquille nicked the ball to the keeper who claimed the catch. England started celebrating as they thought for sure that they had got the all-important wicket of Shaquille. However, the on-field umpires told the players to slow down as he was going to check upstairs with the third umpire. And it's very important to note that the soft signal on the field was out. So let's analyze the catch that was claimed by the English wicket keeper. The ball goes into his gloves at this moment. And here, everybody thought that it was a clean catch. But this is where it got interesting. Based off these images, a lot of people are saying that the ball touched the grass here. People are arguing that at this point, his gloves are not under the ball. However, there are a lot of people that are saying that the gloves are under the ball and that the catch is clean. And honestly, it is pretty difficult to tell. And we all know how important the soft signal is for decisions like this. So let's look at it from a few more angles. This image shows that the ball is completely under the gloves of the English wicket keeper. However, from these images, it's very difficult to tell whether the ball is hitting the ground or not. Are the gloves under the ball here, or is the ball touching some green grass? Be sure to comment what you think down below. At this moment, Shaquille was batting on 94, approaching his maiden test century, and he was trying to find an important result for the home side in terms of the World Test Championship Finals. So this moment is actually extremely crucial. Let's look at it from a final angle. Remember, the third umpire needs concrete and conclusive evidence to overturn the soft signal. Do you guys think that this is conclusive enough? The wicket keeper then collects the ball and claims the catch. And the third umpire ended up giving this decision as out. And Shaquille had to go back to the pavilion at 94. Leaving Pakistan needing only 64 more runs with only tail-enders left. 